welcome back let's now upgrade the project to use arrays now let's uh, go to the uh, swen test class and the course instance class control shift r course instance test and let's try to modify the tests to get them working for uh, uh, list of students i'll not remove the uh, student one student two for now because i would want to slowly switch out of that test so i'll leave the student one student two in there and i'm going to add a new test test uh, adding of students so that's basically what we want to do so i want to test adding of students to the course so i create the course except that uh, i have a student one and student two i'll leave it as it is uh, except that now uh, once i have a student one and student two i would want to create an array so how i create an array is student students is equal to new array of students sorry of student with student one and student two so i'm creating an array of students called student I should have used open brackets in here. I don't need to use this. Okay, finally we got it right. So it's new student of student one comma student two. Now I would want to be able to set this array into the course instance object. So I would want to be able to do something of this kind. Course instance dot set students student sorry set i would want to be able to set students and students so this is exactly what i would want to be able to do and then i would want to be able to do something of this kind as a equals uh, probably i'd want to check the name of the student one first so to simplify the test, I'll remove all the values related to student 2. So I would just create a first test with just simple things, just array of one student. Doesn't really make sense, but it's okay to keep things simple. So I would I, I would want to check whether student 1 is the, uh, I want to get the course instance dot get students i would hope it would return me an array and i i want to do a zero and dot get name i would get the value so i'm just hoping that it would be happening and i would want to check whether that value is students one so let's actually now go ahead and uh, create the method set students so set students is created now and what I would want to create here is a student array. So student, student, uh, students. So now I can set here this dot students is equal to students. And now I can go back to the course instance test and create the get students method. So it returns back an object array. I would want to actually return students back, an array of students back. I'll remove the to do and I'll add in return this dot students. So now if you look at the test, it compiles and let's run and te the test and see if it shift X. T. Okay, good. The code succeeds. So what we have actually done is we created a student called student1 and then we created an array of students 
for now having only that student and i've set the course instance to uh, the set the students array into the course instance and then check whether when i do a course students dot get students or zero dot get name it works so now we can go ahead and add in more values to the uh, course student test so i'll go ahead and create the next element student 2 and i would add student 2 to this array as well and then i'll try and assert the other thing in here too so the name when i retrieve the second object in the array should be student 2 now let's go ahead and run the test and see if it works fine okay very good so now this is a very good way uh, to start using an array so here the arrays are very useful in creating a dynamic list of students so let's say i want to create another student i can add in a student 3 and add in to the array and pass it and i can actually cal uh, do a lot of stuff on uh, the uh, a lot of stuff on students so on sorry on the course instance uh, but uh, let's go ahead and actually now try and do a little bit of stuff around errors so what we have done until now is we added tested adding of students um, we have a bit of refactoring to do because the earlier student one and student two objects are not needed anymore so the first thing i would do is actually remove the tests which are not needed so basically this tests which we have created earlier of adding the student one and student two to course we don't need any of them anymore so i'm going to remove those two tests for now uh, that's good uh, i'll nothing should fail right now but i'm always a cautious guy so let's go ahead and run a JUnit. okay good so nothing has failed uh, the same thing uh, let's go ahead to the course instance object and now try to remove these two methods what happened so there are a lot of things which are giving us a compilation errors that's good because they are getters and setters so that's fine uh, and this is good okay now this method is failing the calculate math average was earlier calculating the average of the uh, students uh, for uh, like using student one and student two now let's change this method to calculate the average based on uh, the array concept of students so how do we do that we use something called a for loop so uh, a for loop is actually uh, used to loop around all the elements of an array or an array list or you can even use the basic for loop to loop around numbers for now let's concentrate on arrays so what we want to do is actually loop around all objects of the array students so we have an array students here that's basically the array this dot students is the array so is it, this dot students is the student array so what i want to be able to do is loop around it so uh, i would say student this dot arrays so this actually now gives you the loop around the students so what happens here is all the students in this array one by one go through this loop so when i execute this loop for the first time the first student comes from the array when i execute this loop for the second time the second student in the array is present as student so let's just try uh, to do a bit of uh, understanding of this as part of a spike and let's then come back and do this stuff so for now what i'll do is to keep things simple i'll just uh, return some number back just to keep everybody happy so 0, 0.0 that's keeps the compiler happy and let's go ahead and do the same thing on the course instance test so on the course instance what i'll do is go ahead and uh, because we do no longer have these variables i would need to remove this set and actually now i would want to create a new array 
and set that array as the students. So this test is no longer valid because don't need this is no longer valid because we don't need to set the student one anymore and uh, let's actually put these values into an array as well and set the students um, this J unit should fail right now because we have not computed the average but we have just returned the value back and pressing all shift X T so this test would fail because we are actually in the course instance object we are returning 0, 0.0 and not returning the actual average because we have not done anything there let's do this spike to understand looping around errors in the next tutorial we are creating more videos as we speak and if you want to stay updated don't forget to click the subscribe button if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and feel free to share this video thanks for watching until next time bye